your daily hour dog yeah. <laughs> hey Charlie knows I'm a show certain. Yep, Charlie's up on the couch with us right now. We had a couple of false starts and then Charlie showed up on an actual real one. He knew the he knew the drill. Yeah. Well, here we are on the couch. It's uh, your daily hour with me. It's a uh, Colin TV talk show that films us here every day. We turn on the machines, start talking, go over the whole hour. Um, I'm Freddie, the producer, and I'm back. Hi, yeah, Mark, you're, you're back, you've been gone for almost two weeks, right? Or yeah, I think it was maybe a 10 or 11 days or something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and definitely, definitely, uh, I got back two nights ago, but this is my first time on the program for quite a bit, so it seems like everything, everything's looking good, got some new stuff back here, got the high tuna there. Hi tuna, shout out. Yeah, thanks, hi tuna, and then, uh... The balloons, uh, I noticed since I've been back, they're a lot smaller up there. Oh, yeah? They're shrinking. They're shrinking. I'm surprised that they're, they're still even uh, there at all. They've is that Carl's birthday week balloons? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Wow. <coughs> oh, oh, my buzzing. Something. Oh, and then oh. just while I, we're talking about the stuff on the wall, that, uh, that picture there. Uh, oh, uh -huh. check it. Yeah. That one. That's yeah. from that episode oh. that happened uh, a year ago, two days ago. Where we learned how to paint, or, or it learned like how so to. much longer. Yeah, Charlie's digging in the couch. Um, yeah, so here we are. I, um, I went to D.C. and went to Virginia and New York. Had a really good time. Little vacation during convenience week. Um, yeah, it's good to be good to be back. Hey, Charlie. Charlie's shedding. Oh, oh. oh, Charlie's doing the computer. Uh, you know, you, we're a call-in television talk show, so if you want to call in the show, you can call that number up there, 360-836-4384, and then you can talk to us on TV. Or really, you'll probably leave a message, and then we'll call you back. It's uh, probably one of the, the things we're going to do here pretty quick in the show is listen to see if we have any calls from any viewers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm logging in the system now. I'm sure you saw probably a lot of things on the street. Yeah, I did see lots of things on the street, especially when we got to New York. We had a lot of, um, you know, just so many people and things all all around. Lots of food trucks. I really, that's one of the, there's a lot of things that I think um, I wish that was here that is in the East Coast, like hot dog food trucks, um, Dunkin' Donuts Parts? for sure. Yeah, the carts. Um, and uh, let's see, what else was on the streets? Lots of cars. People like to honk. Although it was not a scary driving. I mean, all of the stuff that everyone always says that's like, oh, New York is like grumpy and like scary. Uh, I didn't drive too much, but it was not scary. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. The driver? Mm hmm. Everyone seems to be, you know, they're definitely going. Oh, really? Thank you. Coconut water. Um, yeah. Did you drive? I did drive, yeah. Uh, we got to borrow a car for the time I was in there. So I, I didn't drive in New York, no. We we took the bus over there, but I drove in D.C. a bit. Did you see, did you see that, that street with all the roses on it? They were not in bloom. I went to the sculpture garden, though. That's I think you're talking about the place in the Capitol Mall around there. Um, it's called the Capitol Mall. Yeah, it's not actually a mall, but it's so many things. So we have the Capitol Mall here. Oh, my God, you're right. I don't know if it's called the Capitol Mall if I was just calling it that because we have the Capitol Mall. Yeah. But <laughs> the Capitol's right there, and it's I think it's called the mall. So that's pretty hilarious. I didn't even realize that before, but it's you know where they got the reflecting pool. Um... There's a really great sculpture garden right down there that has a lot of optical illusion art. Um, I didn't, you know, there is one thing that it's just like a two-dimensional picture of a house, but it's at this funny angle that as you walk along, it like turns all 3D and, and shifts, and it's Whoa. really, really fun to look at. Uh, yeah. Did you see the president? I did not see the president. And you know what? Not only was 
you know, obviously the president in town. I went to the I went to the Costco there, and I found out that he had been there that day at oh the Costco. My gosh. And then the other thing was the Dalai Lama was in town in D.C. at the same time and was hanging out with the president. And I didn't see either of them, but the president goes to Costco, huh? Uh, yeah, I think that someone said like that maybe there was uh like they did something for their employees that was good, and so he went there to the nearest Costco to say good job, Costco. I don't know if he shopped there. That's the question. Do they have Kirkland and? Costco in DC. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's all, isn't it? I guess it's Washington. It's a Washington company, right? There's a lot of. It is a Washington company. Yeah, yeah. Kirkland, Washington. Kirkland. There's a lot of funny connections between Washington DC and and uh, regular Washington. Like the area that I was staying in was uh, called Mount Rainier. Oh yeah. And so we have Mount Rainier here, and then um, I don't know. Yeah, it's called Washington, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's it. I felt. There was times when I felt very at home. I was like, oh, this is a lot like Olympia, even though it was big city time. I is kept saying big city. Big, big city. Big, big city. city. Big yeah. city. Big city pizza. Big city uh, bagels. Big city fries. I'd, yeah. Is it in the um, Washington, D.C. in the middle of Virginia? Like, it's turned all the way by Virginia, or is it, like, in, on the side of the state? I don't know. Uh, Washington, D.C. is kind of, like, smack dab in between Virginia and uh, Maryland, so... I stayed mostly in the Maryland side, but it's funny. I yeah, <laughs> I learned a lot, including the fact that uh, D.C. is not considered a state. I was like, mm-hmm. first got there and was writing the. Um, you thought it was a state? I don't know. I guess so. Di- it's a district. Yeah, it's a district of Columbia, which doesn't make sense either. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, and one thing, they still have a lot of prince and like king and I don't know, very British sounding names for things. Like uh, in DC, huh? Yeah, which I, I thought was kind of funny because, you know, it was formed after we kind of got it, tried to get away from all that stuff. But yeah. Uh, we don't have any messages. No messages. We did the show last night pretty late. Oh. We were early today, so we we exhausted them. Uh, did you see the White House? No, I saw the Capitol. I didn't see the White House. Um, but yeah, I don't even know where the White House is. I guess. I saw the reflecting pool and the yeah. Washington Monument. Um, Abe Lincoln. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Lincoln Memorial. I didn't go up very Memorial close to Monument. it, but yeah, I saw it. He's pretty big, so you can see him from far away. You look at a penny. <laughs> I've seen it before, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. How about Statue of Liberty? No, I didn't see that. I forgot that that was in New York when I went there. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure. There's so many. New York is like spread across five boroughs, so I don't even know where it would be. Probably Manhattan, I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, New York's like a lot of, like, five cities in one. Yeah, um, so I was I was in Manhattan at first and then uh, hung out in Brooklyn for a bit, too, so. I think Brooklyn's the, the, the fun one. Maybe. Yeah, it was definitely where I stopped feeling overwhelmed by, like, masses of people. Yeah. Um, coming back from New York, uh, we yeah. got, we were running late and got in a uh, one of the subway trains and it was you know how they say like stacked in like sardines yeah it was literally like that there was absolutely no extra space and I was wearing a backpack and mm-hmm. I was we were just like crammed in wow. the whole thing was entirely full and there was it was probably like 12 cars or 13 cars long and they were all just so packed Whoa. it was right during rush hour type time so, I mean everybody I guess everybody's used to that huh I guess so, yeah. No, I mean, it was really funny because it was super quiet. You, it was just like crammed full of tons and tons of people and just no, no one was saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of weird. I don't know when they're going to start talking to somebody and then they're going to have to breathe on people or something. Or yeah, they, I mean, you're right up next to someone yeah. else's face, so yeah. I guess you don't want to talk to them at that point. Um. Okay. <laughs> talking to the people right next to you, you got to yeah. pretend... Everybody's got to zone out, pretend like they're not in this situation for a while. Try to skip, skip memory. <laughs> for most of them, the commuters, yeah. Oh yeah, they don't even want to think about the subway. But it was cool. Um, that's the best. The public transit over there is really fun. Underground. Yeah, really. I got some. I brought some pictures of some things and. Oh yeah, um, we take a look at that. Yeah. It's about time for the dice game. Oh good. Um, 
Yeah, I got my number on my hand. I was watching the show last night, and I played along, so... Um, it didn't work, though. I lost. We're going to see if it works today. I also... I got... Uh, yeah, dice game. Write a number on your hand between one and six. And we're going to play the dice game. I did a... Here we go. Charlie gets a three. Yeah, a six there. That's a six. That's uh, a six. This is the dice... Okay. Here we go. Here, Here we goes go. the first dice. Uh, in the first part of the dice game, we oh uh, we roll one dice. And here goes. It's one. a one. Charlie, it's a one. Two. Okay. Too bad. Charlie's sleeping. Good dog, Charlie. Yeah, yes. Ha ha. <laughs> Charlie likes to turn off the power and kick over the camera and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, did you see that happen? I did too. see that. <laughs> yeah, on Wednesday. Um, Cool. All right. All right. Let's look at some of these pictures. I'm gonna see some pictures. Here we yeah. go. Um. Uh, uh, it's loading. We're loading up the pictures. We're gonna see. Loading them up. Here we go. It's picture number one. This is uh, at the airport in DC, DCA. And the thing I like about this is that uh, it's got this giant American flag, and then um, it's also got a security camera right above it's it. Modern art, yeah. Yeah, which is very much what it kind of felt like. You could, there's tons of cameras everywhere. Is it the DC airport? Uh, yes, this is the DC airport. And then, um, let's see, oh yeah, there it is. Dunkin' Donuts. You guys ever been to Dunkin' Donuts? Have you been to Dunkin' Donuts? Didn't they use didn't um the uh what's the donuts in Lacey? Uh Heavenly Donuts, didn't they used to be Dunkin' Donuts? Oh maybe. Uh maybe it was Winchell's. Winchell's Donuts, that could be. Duncan, I don't um, know. This oh. was on the car that we were borrowing. Oh Grateful Dead, huh? Yeah. This is a little snowman that we made because it was snowy. When I got there it was very snowy. And um this was actually we were going to Virginia to go hike on the Blue Ridge Mountains and uh, stay. With the song. Yeah. And um, we got lost and stopped at this, like, Prince Somebody's winery or something and asked for directions and made a snowman outside after. Did you see the Shenandoah River? Yes. Yes. Whoa. I think so. Come this is road. Shenandoah. Uh, this is up on the Blue Ridge Pass, but it was closed because it was so snowy. Uh, but it's like Skyline Drive. You can drive along the entire mountain. These are the wow. Blue Ridge Mountains, and they look so blue. It's really weird. You almost wouldn't think, oh, what? You wouldn't think that they look so blue, but they really stand up for their name. Um, some snow. A plant. Oh, this is where we went onto the Appalachian Trail. I took this picture because I liked this. It's the beginning of the Appalachian Trail. Yeah. And I think that is an A and a T. This stands for Appalachian Trail. I thought it was... Oh, a and it's an arrow. Yeah. Very clever wow. design. Good yeah. job, whoever thought of that. It's um, on the trail. And the snow was like a foot deep, but it was really sunny. It was a very beautiful day. And the trees were waving around like they were dancing. They were like, it was pretty windy, and the clouds were moving really fast. And along the side of the trail, we kept finding animal prints. I don't know Ooh, what these are. They Maybe look like, like deer. Yeah, they look like deer prints there. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. What's next? Oops. Oh. I'll zoom in. Oh, uh, some cool Ooh. plants. Ooh, what is that? That's like a pine cone. Uh, I think it was around an, a type of nut or something. Nutshell. I dropped my glasses in the snow. Oh. Um, <laughs> could have lost them in there. Yeah, and then I jumped into the snow. Have you ever done that? If you got really deep snow, you can just like lean backwards and drop right into the snow, and it's really fun. Oh, it is, and it's, it's like a padding, huh? Yeah. And then just some nature stuff. I don't know. Like we found some uh, these mushrooms. Ooh, mushrooms are kind of scary. They're kind of scary. They look so. They look like little stairways for fairies or something. I just think they're gonna grow on me. They might. They you get know. Too close to them, yeah. They're really good at growing on stuff. So. Um, got those. And what else? These is here? cold. 
Um, you know, like I said, it was really... S uh oh. Uh, oh, that looks like a bear. Huh? Yeah, we found bear track. Oh my gosh. And then it's like that's how big it is compared to a foot, and we were pretty scared. And that's being scared. That's being scared, yeah. and then, oh, uh, and then we left. I mean, uh, yeah. So it was, it was really snowy, but it had been done snowing, and it was so warm that it was like you know that you know how bears hibernate during the winter. Yeah. Uh, so, to be out to pee or something. either that or you know it's like thinks that hibernation is over and it's hungry and ready. You know, at first oh. I was like, bears are not gonna eat people. There's yeah. easier stuff to get, but it was so snowy and maybe the first day. So um, that was about when we turned around. Was when there was the You're like I don't want to see any bears. Yeah, yeah. I did kind of want to see a bear, but then I realized that's a really bad idea. Yeah, to, especially in the wild and in the snow when. I don't know. Do you know what you're supposed to do with bears? I th heard you're supposed to, like, play dead, maybe. Oh, really? I was going to say the opposite, which which is, like, uh, hold your... Stand your ground? It's, well, like, it's like Jeremy. Jeremy, get your jacket. Put, put your jacket, like, above your, on your... Hold it on your arms and, like, hold your hands up so that your jacket looks like you're really big. Oh. And then, like, the yell. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I heard that's maybe what you're supposed to do for opposite, cougars uh, or something. What are you supposed to do with bears, Jeremy? What are you... Uh, I think you're supposed to have, like, a bell around your neck when you're hiking or something. <laughs> what? All I know is that I saw a bear when I was hiking once. And I hike with my friend Colin, and we always go hiking on right around New Year's, and it's miserable and terrible weather and an adventure, and we usually get lost at some point. It's a lot of fun. But uh, we saw a bear, and he, I think you're supposed to like stand still or something, and like hit some sticks together, but <laughs> I like ran over, grabbed a huge rock, and threw it at the bear. Oh my gosh. And it hit the bear, and the bear like you hit went like, and then it ran away up the hill. Oh. So I, I guess it worked. So maybe you can throw rocks at bears. <laughs> uh, but I think yeah, you're supposed to have like a a bell. I don't know what the bell did. Hiking. You hit the bear with a rock? Yeah, it was a, like a baseball sized rock. Oh my god. It was a pretty lucky throw. It was kind of a ways away. You hit him in the head? Uh, like the back. Wait. They just startled it. I mean, bears aren't often hit by rocks. So yeah, it's probably confused. He doesn't. It's like, what just happened? Yeah. There? Who throws. Rocks. The bear was thinking probably. Yeah, like exactly. That's weird. Freddy's back. Uh, we haven't seen German in a while either. I was here last week. Uh, Sometime last week. Yeah, the hammer hammer returns. I saw that. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was a fun one. I I've only seen bears in zoos. Yeah, I did see a bear in a zoo after that. We didn't see it up close, but the tracks looked really fresh. Oops. We're looking at uh, Freddy's slideshow from uh, his trip. Awesome. That's the thing. I've, uh, it was after we so probably got a pipeline. went away from the bear. Yeah, that's a pipe. And this is right next to this great little restaurant that we went to called Riley's Diner. Is that where we talked to you from? Huh? Like did we talk to you while you were in there? Oh, yeah, 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 you did. Yeah. Did I tell you about the macaroni and cheese? I, I don't remember. I'd like it's, to hear about it. It's yeah. really sweet. It's the sweetest, the sweetest macaroni and cheese I've ever had. Like it's sugar? very sugary. What? And then Strange. This is cool. This is they have uh, their special burger called the Smitty Burger that was created by their sheriff. Uh, Whoa! I did not have that though. Hmm. What's on it? Um, oh, let's find out. It's got. Oh, it doesn't say. It's just created by the sheriff. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. It probably has some bacon on it and probably Swiss cheese. Yeah, I bet. That's going to be right. my guess. And then this was our table, and I thought it was cool because... Number two? Oh, you can see the... Yeah, you can see the Whoa. You know, the reflection, and so two kind of makes... It's double two like is like eight. infinity, or an eight, yeah. Or a fish. A fish? Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's more fish than an eight. Huh, actually. a fish. Interesting. Um, a little still life. Oh. I went to Whoa. the Natural History Museum and there was this skull there. Are you supposed to be taking pictures in there? I don't know. I took this one with my cell phone, actually. Ah. Uh. Uh, but that's one of our historical ancestors. Neanderthals? Um, I think it's no flash photography. No that's flash photography? Thing. Yeah, you don't want to upset the skeletons, that's for sure. That was really fun. Uh, Neanderthal? 
it's something like a Neanderthal, yeah. It's, it's possible. Um, oh, hey, it's info oh, time. Should we do info time Six. over the skull? Five. Yeah. I haven't Four. done info time in a long time. Three. Let's see if I still remember Two. all these words. One. Uh, uh, now, now it's info, it's info time. time. Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You are watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. It airs every night at 11.30 p.m. at TCTV Channel 22. Each episode tapes a week after, or before it airs on a TV on 11.30. So if you're watching at 11.30, this episode taped the same day of the week of the previous week. If you're watching at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. Uh, you can always watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching, and now welcome back to the program. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still over here. Uh, you want to see some more, I guess? Yeah. I don't know whose who's skulls are going to be in the museums in the future. Yeah. You could end up in a museum. You don't even know about it. You're like, they're going to dig you up and say, I found oh, these ancient oh, people. What this thing? Yeah. yeah. I got a, a parking ticket after the Smithsonian incident. Because mm. uh, there was, you know how in town it says, like, two-hour parking from this time to this time? Yeah. And I thought that that meant that... Um, you know, after that certain time, it was free. Yeah. But it was actually at this spot on the Washington Mall or Capitol Mall or whatever it's called, and um, it went into rush hour at that time, and then we probably almost got the car towed. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, and it was a $100 ticket. Oh, man. <laughs> so watch, read read carefully. I'm going to try to uh, dispute it. I just actually recently had a success disputing a parking ticket I had here in Olympia. When I got back, I... I Oh. It disputed one, so I'm gonna try it again. But I think that might be a way that DC makes some money, possibly uh, yeah, up the tourists and stuff. Well, there's not really adequate parking anywhere there, so it's yeah, it's a way to do it. I had my car towed once. Oh, uh, in fun. DC? Where were you? No, it was in Olympia. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Kenny was present for that. I remember the Fourth of July thing. Was, was it towed in front of you, or did it you well, just show up and your car was gone? I parked at a gas station. Oh, and I was like, whatever. <laughs> and we went and bought fireworks. And well, the reason I parked there is because I went to a concert with somebody, and they parked there, and their car was there for ten hours. Uh, but I think they, like talked to the people at the uh, gas station. Yeah. But the funny thing is, it was Fourth of July, and I could have parked anywhere. Oh for no! Free, <laughs> but yeah. I parked there. Holiday. And my car got towed literally across the street. Wow. To a place, and I had to pay like three hundred dollars to get yeah. it out. They, Whoa. they. That's so like. So I was really angry, like all, oh. Fourth of July, and we like shot guns, and I didn't enjoy that. Oh. And the fireworks, I was kind of angry. I'm mad. So yeah. Oh that's man. The fireworks part was actually kind of fun. I remember, we were like standing outside the place because nobody was there, so we had to call them and get them to, like, show up and let my car out. And Kenny was like, "Hey, we should just blow up their gate with fireworks." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so get your car back. Uh, we didn't do it though. Uh, yeah, that's always I think one of the weirdest forms of business to tow people because they like take your your property that you own and then hold it behind a gate and say, "Give me three hundred dollars or you don't get your thing back." Yeah, it seems like kind of extortion, but I don't know. I guess it's legal. Seems weird though to me. I'm just keepers. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Like the only thing that hasn't happened, I've gotten parking tickets. I've had my car towed, but I never had a boot put on my car. Oh, a boot! But I know somebody that has. Oh, they that had, sucks. They had a boot put on like a rental car in California. Whoa! And I think, I think it's happened a couple times to them. Whoa! How do you get unbooted? You gotta go to the place and. I I think you have to like pay or I don't know. This is my friend that travels like every week for work, and she like goes to a different place every week, and. She's always driving rental cars. Oh man! Always getting parking tickets. That sounds yeah rough. That's we were borrowing a car too. I always hate when you're not. It's not your car. It's like even worse that way. Yeah, I'm usually more cautious when I'm in other cars, but I don't really drive other cars enough to have a good like base of experience with it. We got more pictures, or you got more? Yeah, pictures? I guess we'll go. In 
the the area where we're getting to the zoo. You guys know about the pandas at the zoo? They've got some giant pandas, and they just had a baby. Here's a picture of a stuffed animal panda. Um, what? What is that? That's what the. <laughs> what? Uh, the there's another bear. Um, we had a lot of bear issues because, like, ever s after we all had that run-in almost with the bear, like, bears just kept... Was that a bear and a log? No, that's an otter. Oh. After that, like, bears just started being, like, in in the mind and, like, everywhere. Like, there was bears at the zoo, obviously, and then also, like, we went to, uh, like, a liquor store at one point, and then they were giving out free samples of, uh, honey whiskey. And then they said, this may attract bears. And we're like, what? No. <laughs> no bears. Oh, man, yeah. No more bears. So, oh, look at these. Yeah, those are cute, aren't they? Otters just really know how to play, you know? I don't know if I've ever seen them out of the water before. Uh, yeah, I thought that they maybe should have had more water in their tank. We saw some really interesting monkeys in the small mammal uh, part of the zoo. They have the coolest hands. I don't know if any of these pictures are going to show it too accurately, but they are just like human hands but tiny they even have fingernails and they look really small but also they look so they look like baby monkeys but their faces are kind of old and wise looking on like little tiny bodies and they got crazy ears yeah they look like uh clowns <laughs> clowns no man that's scary let's see what is this oh i think this is another monkey it's somewhere like crusty crusty haircut crusty clown oh yeah haircut. totally what is this guy that's a monkey it's some Gorilla? kind of monkey uh, I can't face? really see what what I'm looking at there. But yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, he's looking up. Oh, okay, there, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. What, what are you thinking? What do you think? Is he thinking? <laughs> there is this thing called the think tank that uh, thought it, it was talked about like the difference between instinct and uh, thinking, and they had the orangutans doing memory exercises. Um, we ate some squash, and then did you know you can take the seeds of pretty much any squash and then uh, roast put them? Yeah, roast them. It's really good. Oh, is that New York pizza? pizza? Yeah, we've entered New York. So this is some New York pizza. It's six dollars a slice. Whoa. Uh, you know what? I heard that old school pizza is very close to New York pizza. So uh, yeah, if you go to, I uh, you know I like old school pizza better than the pizza that we had. It was good, but you know. Uh, it was a little spindy. This is that park, the really famous, fancy New York park. Central Park? Uh, Central Park, yeah. Um, is he a pigeon lady? Any pigeon? My, my cousin no. runs there I look all the time. Oh, yeah? There were so many people Where running and there? walking. to Brooklyn. Yeah, so I can imagine why. It seemed really hard to live in Manhattan to yeah, me. But it's expensive, too. We uh, got After mustard? we ate pizza, we wanted to get... Uh, um, mustard, cheese triangles, and all. Yeah, well, actually, we got soda, what but um, what magical thing you know, we needed we needed to get some root beer, or some soda after oh, uh, just the things we got it from Subway. Subway. And then Liquor. a friend uh, took us out to Margaritas, Margaritaville time, uh, and then New York people are so nice and generous. They paid for all the stuff. Oh, at turtles. the apartment that I stayed in New York, they had turtles in the bathtub. Oh, how are they gonna take a shower? Uh, sometimes you take a shower with the turtles, but, um, no, uh, sometimes you just wait until the turtles go into their tank, so they kind of just get to play there during the time, and then one of the, um, people who lived there was shooting some videos of the turtles, but they look like they're having a good time, right? Yeah, they, they interact with each other? Yeah, the big one is named Mega Boss. And then the little one is named Totoro. They move a lot faster in water. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, people think they're slow, but it's because they're water things. Yeah. They about that kind of. And then uh, they just kind of you float some lettuce in there, and then they eat it as they go around. Are they gonna eat it? Uh, there's probably one in here where they eat it. <coughs> eat the lettuce there's turtle. A, a kid who lived in here who was use, who's shooting oh. the camera so oh, oh. eat it yeah oh, oh yeah a little bit of it yeah it's by the end of the day uh all the lettuce is gone see there's one that i really liked where mega boss goes into the bucket <laughs> 
but anyway, this is some turtle footage. I hope this is this is like. Oh, it's halfway through the program. Mega Boss. Oh, that's Mega Boss. You gonna you got a number on your hand, Jeremy? No, no. I need a pen. Yeah. Okay. There's a uh, pen hanging up. Oh yeah, There's more sky turtle. Right here. Sky pen. See there, the turtle's going in the bucket. Oh, uh, uh, what are you doing in the bucket? <laughs> There's some lettuce in there. I looked in there after I saw him in there. <laughs> <laughs> All the way in the bucket. Yeah. Okay, that's some good turtle stuff. Oh, I'll show yeah. you a bunny next. This is like, you know, I, I don't know maybe what uh, other, people's on the, on the couch. other people's New York experiences is like, but mine was really, really good with turtles and pizza and bagels and... All kinds of stuff. Oh, what happened to dice cam? Rock. Try it now. No? It's going. Oh, it came unplugged. Oh. There, yeah, we, go. there we go. Here we go. We're going to roll two dice this time. Do you have a number, Jeremy? Yeah. Did you pick a one? No. All right, then you don't have any points yet. Two, two and three, uh, Charlie. I'm almost there. I have a four, you have a four? Yeah. I mean, Jeremy on the team. Jer same, er, same as always. Maybe I should switch up my numbers. I think there. you should. You gotta, that's not how you visualize the future. It's not going to be the same every time. Charlie, you have 500 points. Good job, Charlie. I'm hoping for the straight here, the one, two, three, four, five, six, so. Oh, we're on our way, huh? Yeah, we're halfway there. Uh, should I keep going? Should we t yep. take a talk break? And call someone. Oh yeah, we can call Bird. Bird is scheduled to be here tomorrow. Here's another video shot by Lilo. Um, and it's funny when kids get a camera because <laughs> the bunny's not moving and so she's like shaking the camera around to make it more exciting, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like the like documentaries when they have still photos and they just like move the camera around. Yeah. Like Ken Burns. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's the, the worst Kimber and Victor. Like, Telling the bunny has a litter of, like, box? War and yeah, that's the bunny's litter box, and it shares it with a cat that lives there, too. Uh, uh, there's a picture of the cat. It's like they, they all live in this uh, very small New York apartment. It's really, oh, really cool. Turtles in. Whoa. <laughs> this one uh, has some good audio, but I don't know whether the. I don't think the audio is turned in. Is it plugged in? It's plugged into here, and then this is going out, but uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a bus. That's right outside their window. It goes by all the time. Oh, what? Is it loud in there? Yeah, but you get used to it. This is the cat who lives at the same place. That's Felix. That's, um, yep. Uh -oh. Here's a picture I took of the drive in Seattle, or I mean in, uh, in New York. Took this from the bus. Did you know that they what? have these really cool buses there called, I think it's just called Mega Bus? Um, and two stories, and this time we got to sit in the very, very front of the top story, and you pretty much are right above the driver, and they've got a big window Whoa, that's it's like, like you're driving. Yeah, it totally felt like it, except for you're towering above everything. And then uh, this is leaving Manhattan. Uh, this is after we is got this from the second story of a bus. Yep. Oh, oh you gonna hit the thing? Oh no! We're, oh! <laughs> it really seems like you're going to. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh um, man, that thing is really close to the top of. It. Looks like. I mean, are you, is it clearing more than it seems like? Uh, it it's close? probably clearing equally. You know, see that other bus that's right there? It's probably mm -hmm. about the same. But no, I think we're actually taller than them because we can see the top yeah, of their roof. It doesn't look like a double bus. Yeah, that's not a double bus. Oh that's man, just that's a freaky. I mean, I'm sure they go through this tunnel every day, but. Yeah. It's really There's probably like specific tunnels they can go through. And or I'm pointing up at the ceiling because they're we're underwater at this point. Like this Whoa. is going oh, from Manhattan. Under the East River. Yeah. So this is we're literally underwater. I, how do you, do you do you know how they dig underground tunnels? What do they do? How do they do underwater tunnels? I mean, they like do you either scuba go suits or something. They either go underground underneath the the water, or they. I think that's basically what they do. Underground, they dig yeah. underground first. How how far underground is it? I didn't see it. Like the slope is really casual, you know, uh, but it, they must be a certain amount under east. That's or they can kind of do like a a tube type thing. Yeah, tube. I think there's one in uh, 
Canada like that. Like they just uh, get the tube in Vancouver and like stick it under there. Whoa, there's like a tube in the water. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't think they do that because you'd have to do like the whole thing at once. That's. So uh, I think they just go underneath the. This is the bottom. New York skyline at night, but Ooh. my camera didn't do it very well. I think that that's cool, the though. Empire State Building, and then or maybe that's the the new where the World Trade Freedom Center Tower. thing was. Yeah. They have the like this weird pillar on top of the Freedom Tower that uh, makes it the largest building again. It's one tower. Yeah, yeah. it's a single tower. What's well, this? I think this is just night driving. This is on the bus again. I was pretty excited, but it's kind of nice. This is New York. Yeah, this is now having left New York, so I think we're in maybe what is that? Jersey, maybe. Yeah. This is the Ooh, new, Jer new Jersey Turnpike. This is the Turnpike. Yeah. Um. It's so cool to not have to drive. I'm so glad we didn't drive because there's toll toll things and like it's a long time. Uh, but it it was a enjoyable to just kind of sit and watch. I really love public transportation on the East Coast. It's so easy, and they've got like a card that you just swipe it and then the thing opens and then you walk in and then you just swipe it again when you leave. It's just so easy. Oh, I even jumped over uh, in New York. We were running out of time, and we were going to miss our bus, and I was trying to buy a ticket from the machine yeah. <coughs> to get on the subway, and it was taking too long, and the bus was about to leave, and so our friend Greg just said, well, he was like, jump, and so, or follow me, you know, and so we followed him through the turnstile, and uh, it closed before I could get through, and so I just jumped over. Whoa. That yeah. works. Got on the subway for free. Ha, 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 Jumping. Ha. When I was in Houston, I rode their train for free of a bunch because they never had anybody checking tickets so mm. I bought uh, like a few every once in a while but here's why I thought I was going to get to stay an extra day because it was snowing so much this is back in D.C. yeah uh, I thought I was going to get to stay another day we tried our best to get the snow that's a little almost, still life we almost got snowed in is yeah. that sweet and sour sauce? no that's uh, garlic sauce from some pizza mm. Garlic sauce and cigarettes. Hey, oops. It looks like clerks, what's huh? Oh. Hey, this is the studio. Check this out. This was the oh, local Mount, Mount Rainier. Quick stop. Yeah, the quick stop is... Where, was this in Jersey? No, this was... Uh, this Mount Rainier is right where I was staying. This is probably like a block away from the house where I was staying. Quick stop is the clerks thing. That's in Jersey. Oh, Jersey yeah. Quick stop is a, a chain. I liked it because they called it a convenience store. Convenient, as opposed <laughs> yeah. Instead of a convenience store. And they had a really cool setup in there where they have like a big, like bulletproof plastic thing, and the uh, rotational, like they have a turnstile inside, and they Whoa. just spin it, and then um, you like put your money in there, and then they spin it, and then they put whatever item you buy, and then they spin it back around, and then you can take it. Whoa, that's weird. I guess they get robbed a lot. Yeah. And then this is going down into the subway, the bus. I'm starting to leave. I'm getting ready to leave D.C. here. Well, this looks like the future. Yeah, it totally is the future. I mean, this is the way that public transit should go. It's so cool. This is all underground. That's me. Whoa, in a crazy future tunnel. It looks like... Yeah. Um, 2001 Space Odyssey. Oh, there we go. This is the, That's my favorite one. I, I am pretty bad at blinking. I always blink when my picture is taken. Speaking of future... I thought that what? this looked like a giant robot, but that's like the escalator and the ticket machines, and then it's... It's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Is, is, that, is that like a forced perspective thing? Yeah, a little uh, bit. Let's see. Like, like that yeah. machine is huge, but is it... It's pretty big, you know? It's oh like, wait. that's an escalator oh, there. Oh, it's an escalator. Okay, never mind. I thought, I thought it was maybe, if when you zoom out, it looks like it could be... A machine? A little machine that's like right in front of you. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then when we were... They were fixing an escalator, and so I got to look inside and see what it looks like when the escalator is going. The inside of an escalator. Yeah. You know what's cool is the... Uh, oh, this is the ceiling of the D.C. airport, and here is takeoff. One of the uh, cool things... Oh, takeoff! Um, oh, wait, what was I just saying? We were talking about force perspective, robots, escalator... Yeah, my favorite part about the airport is those walkways that you can oh, walk on. Escalators. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. like, I think we should have those on the sidewalks all the time and stuff because it's go faster. Yeah, and it and when you get off of it, it feels so cool. You like are just running you feel for like a little you're bit. Still moving. You're like shoo, 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 shoo. and then all of a sudden everything becomes slow. You're like slowed down. You're like oh, I'm so slow now. 
supposed to keep walking oh. on those end oh, Commercial break. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Live TV dance party, first Friday of each month, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A, 440 Yager Way. Oh yeah. Brown Interior Limited presents Private Memories, the new Skrill Meadow album of 2014. Featuring the song, Say Fudge. Work with what you got. And long weekend. Private memories from Thrill Meadow, available at these fine weekends. Coming up tomorrow on the program. Your daily hour with. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, it's what happened? Hey, commercial. everybody. We talked to some to some McDonald's. We lit a candle, for no particular reason, and we rolled six dice. It's the end of Mardi Gras week and the beginning of Daylight Savings Time week. We're on Check every night out. at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCTV channel 22. Hey. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. 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 Did you have a good com commercial break, viewers? Did you uh, take a stretch? Get up, walk around, eat some Cheez-Its. Uh, did you, did you, were you convinced to buy something by the commercials? Hmm. Um, we should call, make a call. Yeah, call let's Bird. Make a call. Bird's scheduled to be here tomorrow. You know, one thing about travel that I really thought, uh, you know, that really hit home, it's like, it was a very different place, with very, very different types of people, but it was not that different, you know? I, I didn't feel like I was overly surprised by anything I was not like nothing was so different that I was like whoa this seems so weird except for maybe the transit at first because I was I'd never seen that many people in one place but it has so much hey, more how you doing? to do about hey bird the people that you're with you know it's like people no matter where you are they make it the the best it's like yeah hey bird you're scheduled to be here tomorrow okay how's yeah what time how's good night? 9.30 p.m. for you. Okay. Yes. Great. Have you ever been to New York? Am I what? Have you ever been to New York? Yes. What What were you... Uh, a couple times. What, what, what's the biggest difference, do you think, between New York and, I guess, East Coast, West Coast? Um, East Coast, West Coast. I would say population. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's a lot more people. I think that's what Freddie said. You were saying too, right? More, more dense. New York. Doctor. Yeah, New York is a 24-hour city. That's you true. They say it's the city that never sleeps, right? Yeah. Is that or is that Vegas? No, yeah. They, or, yeah, they say that. Times Square. Yeah, have Times you Square been is there? Freaky. Well, Freddie just got back from there. Cool. I want to hear all about it. We'll watch the episode. We'll see That'd you tomorrow, Bird. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, there it goes. But that's that's what makes me happy about uh, not tra... I haven't traveled that much. This is like the biggest trip I've ever taken, and I really enjoyed myself, but it would not have been any fun at all if it weren't for, like the people that I was surrounded with, you know, it's like, that's, that's what makes living in a town good, and that's what makes going other places good, it's like, people, people are important, that's good, anyway. Should we see this takeoff? Yeah, you want to see the rest of this? Oh, hold on, give it a second, it, uh, 
It, it shut itself off. How about, is it now? Yeah. That's oh yeah, we sound. can probably get sound going. We've got a All right. Uh, is it this one? This is this is it's plugged in here. This what? Uh. Uh. Let's see. It's going to to this. Is that the thing? Uh, what? It's going going into here. Maybe it'll take. It. What happened? One is the computer. One is the computer. Okay. Well, well let's see. How about uh? Yeah, you can plug into one. Let's see if it works. Is that working? No. Uh, maybe I got the volume down or something. Oh, we hit, we took off. I was looking at the plugs. Oh, yep, we're off. Whoa. What do you think of that? The city. Where is the volume on this thing? Oh, you can see the shadow of the plane that you're in. Yeah, there. I did a lot of video stuff where I was trying to. Uh, figure out the optical illusion. You know, if you have flown on a plane recently, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Where uh, let's plug the computer back in. I can't seem to make it work. Um, where'd the computer go? Anyway, as you as you move in the as you sit in the plane, everything is stationary. You know, you look out the window and you see the wing, and then but when the plane banks and rolls, oh, see, there's the city, there's DC, yeah, Whoa. or Maryland or somewhere. It's DC. It's the super grid. Yeah, okay. look how gritty it is. It's it's really weird looking at from aerial because it's like a diamond shape. Yeah. And it's really it seems just like way too well. It's like super planned out. Good city planning. No sprawl. Um and oh There's my god the bu the buildings are absolutely boulevard. beautiful and impressive in DC like when you're at the Capitol Lee area they're just like they look like old huge towering buildings with crazy art so imposing and uh majestic. Everything's way older. Yeah, everything's so older. And then the houses on the in the people live in um are all just like in big lines and they have really beautiful like window spots where they uh they like I wish I should have got some pictures of the houses, but I was really impressed with the way that they looked. Um hey Charlie oh. uh. what happened? Um, Charlie, Charlie stepped on the camera. Uh, there's some plane shots. Oh, okay, so this optical illusion, right? Like, it makes it look like the wing, you're, you're moving up and above the wing, but the wing stays in the same place, and it's some kind of, maybe it's not even an optical illusion, I think it's a internal illusion. Like, you can also look down the, uh, the hall of the plane, and then when it m makes it move, it feels like the plane is twisting and like tilting down. But from your perspective, it's not actually moving at all. Like visually, you're yeah. in the same spot. It, but it it seems like it looks. I don't know. It seems like a visual thing, but it's not. It's all internal. And I was trying to get some video shots of things so that I could figure out, um, you know, just like prove to myself that it was just an illusion. Is that making sense? Uh, yeah. What's that on the wing? I shadow. think that's the shadow of the no, tail. Oh, but the, the, what's that yellow thing? You see that? Yeah, I do see that. There's some tape. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they taped it up. Taped it together. I think that actually is a little thing where you can hook stuff on. or like, I think it's for when people are working on the wing. Yeah, the main thing. Yeah, so they don't fall off. Because it's, it's a little like circular loop. Ah. Uh. Um, I always like when I'm flying, just like try to figure out exactly where I'm at. Yeah. Just by looking at stuff. I had no idea, and I didn't have any sort of device. Like I flying, flying east, I found it really difficult. Because I'm like, oh, this must be like the Midwest. But <laughs> it was actually like south of Spokane. Where Whoa. We were at. It, it's, oh, yeah. The ground's like really like ripply for like... This is what I'm talking about. You see how it almost, as the, as the um, ground moves down, it looks like the, the wing is moving, like as a trick. But it's not. The wing stays in the exact same spot. I, I shot this sideways because uh, I was, I don't know, I was just playing around, I guess. Playing, playing around. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like you're in space, though, when it's sideways like that. Yeah. We're going straight up, flying up, <laughs> upwards. Um, Vertical. I think I shot the, um, the rest of this in sideways mode. Um, yep. Uh, wow! Flying. It's Mardi Gras week. Oh yeah, that's I wore purple 
I wear a purple shirt for Mardi Gras. Well. Hey, that? yeah, you wore a purple shirt. <laughs> well. Is that Mardi, Mardi Gras? Gras That's what I heard, yeah, Mardi Gras colors. I'm going to a Mardi Gras party tomorrow at yep. my parents' house. What, what that's gonna be a, why are they having a Mardi Gras party? Uh, I, I guess they went to one last year. Oh, time for the dice game. What happened? There was no sound. No sound for the dice game? Uh-oh. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, my gosh. Well, um, uh, that thing working still? Here there we, we go. go. Yeah. Final time. All right. This is the last one, you guys. Probably so winning right now. You're keeping your number. We're going to, um... We're gonna roll three dice this oh. time. Oh, well, Charlie, Charlie. Got more points. He's really winning. Uh, two, four, and uh, three. Charlie, you won. Two twos, two threes, one four, and one one. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, come here. Charlie, you're the winner. I got 500 points. Charlie gets Charlie, a prize. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie gets a prize. Charlie doesn't he know that winning is a present itself? He doesn't know. Um, I don't think Charlie. Yeah, Charlie can't appreciate win the the value in winning. Yeah. You got a peanut. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody else got peanuts. Oh uh, yeah. With even without winning. Yeah. Sorry, Charlie. You're you don't get as many peanuts as you want because you want all of them. Uh, you eat all of them in one sitting. Uh, barf. I'd like Maybe. to give my recommendation for a couple things that I went to in D.C. and I thought were really good. If anyone goes out to D.C., you should check out the Arboretum which is like a giant place where there's tons and tons of different kinds of trees. And um, they closed it during the... What was that thing? Remember when they had that budget thing? They closed it, so now it's the, not open. Oh, the... Sequester? Uh, when yeah. they closed the, the Senate or the whatever? Or the yeah, or the, I think someone the said the sequester. Down. Or the government shut down anyway. That, and so they... But they reopened it for like less time, and everything's free. Like All the museums are free. The Natural History Museum oh, yeah, is really? free. And Smithsonian free? Yeah, the Smithsonian is Whoa. free, and uh, so and there is so much stuff in the Smithsonian. We went a couple, like several days, and every time we uh, just kind of looked at stuff until we got too tired to do it anymore. And then it was like still just a tiny fraction of everything you could see. It's just amazing. Wow. So, uh, particularly, also I like the um, botanical gardens. They have plants and stuff that are amazing. I didn't get pictures because I didn't bring my camera to that time, but because um, I, I decided I was going to keep the pictures in my brain. But that means I can't share them with you guys. Sorry, but they're on the internet and stuff. Flowers? Flowers, orchids, desert plants, jungle room. Um, it was all kinds of stuff. It was more plain. Um, Did, how was the plane ride? Was there any babies on there? No, uh, not at all. It was they were, It was great. Um, my seats were really perfect because there. I went from DC to Philly, and I got the window seat, which is what this is from. And then from Philadelphia to Seattle, I got the um, aisle seat, so mm -hmm. I got to uh, use the bathroom as much as I wanted okay. without having to bother anybody. So it was really optimal. I um, I've never not had a window seat on the plane. Yeah, except for um. The next flight I'm taking actually have an aisle seat. I do it's love... It's like a red-eye flight, so it's oh. kind of weird. Yeah. So I chose it because I was like, well, I won't be able to see anything out the window. <laughs> it's going to be a night. I might as well just sit in the aisle. I love... Yeah, you should sit in the aisle. I recommend the aisle. I I read books. I read a whole book. I started it the day I left and then finished it just before we touched down in Seattle. So, Whoa. Um, okay. That one was... That one didn't really change much, did it? But that's okay. That's what it's like in the sky. I think this is maybe when we land, but I can't be sure. See, there we are coming in over Philadelphia. Uh, I keep saying we now, but now it's just me. I guess there's no one else there. Um, this one I didn't have to, like, there was a lot of empty seats, and this was a very short flight. That's like the shortest flight I've ever had is from D.C. to Philly, and it's like less than an hour. Not that far. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I have a flight be going from like Houston to New Orleans, and that's going to be really short. <laughs> oh, are you going to New Orleans? Yeah. What, for Mardi Gras? No. Oh. When? Have you been to New Orleans before? No, I haven't. So it's going to be pretty fun. My dad and I are going down there. Wow, cool. Is that for Mardi Gras? Yeah, it's a month from now. I'll be there the first weekend of April. Did this plane have those screens on the seats? I heard that that was in your 
screens on the seats? No, uh uh-uh. Those are pretty cool. Those are pretty I've cool. I've been on two flights that have those. One was kind of, wasn't that great of a, it was like a pretty crappy plane. Then I had a Virgin America flight, which is like crazy and really nice. And you could order food from the screen and watch oh, yeah. TV and play games. They want you to order that food. They didn't give you any complimentary food. I ordered every free beverage they had. Whoa. Whoa. I think there's like 15 or 16 things that I ordered, oh, and man. they like brought me. They're like, "Do you want all these?" I'm like, "Yeah." Nice. So my tray was completely full of cups, Whoa. Full of different things. Wow, dude. Uh, were you at the Were you at the window seat? Yeah. And did you have to was, get up and use the bathroom? Did you? N- that? No. No. But when I got wow off the plane, I had to use the yeah, with all, yeah. really, all those drinks. Really cool. bad. You know, like, it was pretty late in the flight when I got the all the drinks. Uh, oh, that's good. You know, the biggest short issue too. I've seen with flying is uh, space in the overhead compartments. That's the thing I picked up on. I almost had to check my bags twice. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I think know. a lot of people have bags that are way bigger than their, like, specified size yeah. limit. Yeah. Don't they have I've those, like, that. those things that you, when you go in there, you have to put them into the, the thing to measure how big your bag is? Yeah, but they don't really they don't enforce it at all. They don't seem to enforce it. Oh. Yeah. I just... My thing for flights oh, what the? is I just wear a whole bunch of clothes on the flight. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. <laughs> Pack like, it into your yeah. bag. I know, but then I'm always so, like, hot on the plane. I'm like, ugh, I'm wearing so many clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I did that because I That's the wore, sacrifice like, two bulky sweaters sometimes. and, like, a, a flannel that wouldn't have fit in. So I was just like, ugh. I just wear, like, three T-shirts and, like, a pair of shorts under, a, like, a pair of pants and, like, a couple pairs of socks and... Yeah, yeah, a couple of pairs of socks. Just like, yeah, then you don't have to check any bags. You just wear all your clothes. I usually don't even pack that much stuff anyway. I'm That's like, probably good. I'm like a backpack. You don't need that much stuff. Luggage person. Well, yeah, what are you going to need? Okay, I think we're coming in now. Oh, we're landing. I think so. It's, uh, Did you eat airplane food? No, because <coughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, I, I found out that I didn't get any free food, so I decided to not eat food at all. Yeah. No good. Yeah. Well, we shouldn't... Oh yeah, that's yeah. I don't think I recognize some of that stuff sideways though. The sideways stuff, yeah, it's kind of sideways. Oh, I forgot I was gonna give Dan a, a ride to a staff meeting, and uh, and it's late now. Let's see, I'll oh, call him. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Here we go. We're almost there. Landing in. Seattle. <laughs> or no, this is Philadelphia. Oh, I thought hey, I didn't Dan. recognize Seattle. I was like, oh, I recognize Seattle. Like, oh, there's there's beer in. Yeah. <laughs> Tag. I thought I saw um, some of those smoke stacks. I guess I got those smoke stacks everywhere. <laughs> it's sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Look at those flaps. I think those are the brakes or something. You know what those flaps are for? Yeah, this is to add some wind resistance. Are they the brakes? Oh, hey, it's the end of the program. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. We made it, oh, no. we made it through. Another episode of the program without losing consciousness or passing out. Thanks, Freddie and Jeremy, for being here today. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Washington, D.C. Uh, thanks, Bird, Charlie. Thanks, Planes. Oh, no. We landed. Thanks, Air Trap. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for looking. Oh, oh, we're cutting out an audio. Audio's having some problems. Yeah. That's something weird. Yeah, the, the thing Things moving around. Uh oh. Just, just craziness. Oh. Uh oh. Thanks, episode number and date. Uh oh. Uh, we lost. Oh no. Uh. Computer. Thanks, computers. Thanks, internet. Facebook, YouTube. Twitter, check us out. Thanks, phones. Give us a call. Yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, thanks, crew. That's the crew. You, you can be, on, be the on the crew. crew. I'm thinking if you want though. Yeah, uh, it's thanks a good TCT TV. Be a part of the team. Lebebe.com. You make your own TV. Psycho feeling. What the? Jordy, fabulous. Yeah, you know what to do. Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Yeah. That's right. That's uh, thanks. This is a beautiful country. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. 
Hell yeah, dog. Uh -oh. Bye. Do it.